So a quick rundown on a <clears throat> power steering rack and pinion system. This is the complete assembly. So our power steering rack, uh, this one is cut away so we can view the innards. Uh, what do we've got? We've got our pinion gear, which is our input gear, and our rack gear, which is the output. So as we turn that, it moves that. <clears throat> Uh, what are some other components inside of our rack? So if we look in the center, this is the actual piston. So uh, depending if we have hydraulic pressure on uh, which side of the piston is going to determine which way the uh, piston moves, giving us our assist. Let's see, it's kind of not so blurry. Good. Uh, our pinion gear is our... Uh, input and attached to the top is our directional control valve. So coming from our power steering pump there are two lines here. Uh, one would be our input or pressure and one's going to be a return line. So in our directional control valve it's what's called a spool valve. Uh, we're going to have pressure coming in and then our torsion bar in here our spool valve is what actually operates our directional control valve. So depending on which direction we're going to turn, this will uh, direct fluid to go either to the left side or the right side of the housing. And again, this will determine the direction we're steering. Uh, just a quick look coming out of our directional control valve. We can see we have one tube running to this side and one to the other. So essentially that is the output um, <coughs> from our directional control valve supplying pressure to each side of the rack piston. So not something that we're going to do very often, but uh, as our textbook has explained, we can adjust the preload onto our rack gear. So by loosening this uh, adjuster nut, and then tightening in the adjuster screw. It's gonna push tension on the rack gear, uh, making it mesh tighter with our pinion gear.